hey, 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 travelers, influencers, back again. Today we're going to be going to the Monkey Sanctuary here in Cancun. And we're going to be going quad biking. So it's going to be a busy day. You know what I mean? And um, I'm really looking forward to this one. Follow me. Right in the cave now. Ooh, it's scary. <laughs> so we're going for a little tour in the cave. And yeah, it's really good. I'm enjoying myself. Oh my days, I've got to be careful about my walk because the bottom of my feet is very tender and I don't want to hurt my feet. Oh, what was that? <laughs> There's my friend singing Red Red Wine. Red Red Wine. <laughs> this place is called Rio Sagrado, like a sacred river. In Yucatan Peninsula, we have about 8,000 cenotes. We have different types. We have an open, we have a semi-closed. Sometimes we have a, like a small hole on the roof. And this one is total close. Okay, yes. mm -hmm. we have uh, over the, in that direction uh, 22 kilometers discovered by the guys who make it discovered and at the same time create all this beautiful formation that we call them stalactites. The stalactites they grow one centimeter every hundred years, and we ask. All the tools avoid touch them because the skin, our skin, our sweat, our pH is very acid, and also we have a chemical. If we, we touch them, we're gonna stop the process of formation. They, they stop growing. They don't grow anymore. Okay, stalactites, stalagmites from underneath, and when they are connected, we have a columns. But it's very important for this on the Grand River system because the columns, they support the road. And this place in Yucatan Peninsula, we don't have uh, air quicks, so no problem in this area. And this uh, cenotes, we have some people like, they come here before us to explore it so they know that this place is safe. It's yeah. not dangerous, okay? okay? All right, chicos, be careful here. Uh, mind your head, watch your step, please. If you don't have the balance, you can do this like me, I will do no problem. So is this the same one you done the other day? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
This quad biking is fantastic. Yep, we're having a good time. And um, Speedy Gonzalez. Yep, we're ready. Did you see I got my hat on? I'm gonna put my helmet on. And we're gonna hit the road again. And you know, I intend to do about 50 miles per hour this time. Chris took off now, the chief. Yeah. Oh. Run things, run things. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's good. We're having a great time. Let's go. Woo! This is wicked. The next monkeys we call the cotton head monkeys we have a baloo and bongo and also the male that his name is coco okay so what happened for the moment we have them separate uh, because couple weeks ago the female she becomes mad of them they attack she attack okay this type of monkeys in the wildlife normally they have to choose about seven seven males but one is gonna be the male who is gonna reproduce and make the babies okay and this male is gonna take care of the babies, but in this case, like the female, she don't have another, we say, mm. uh, five males, she get mad of them, because the whole, she, she get the stress, you know? Mm. And uh, she start attacking these two handsome guys, and what happened? Uh, the guys, they take a submissive position, they don't fight. Other monkeys, like a squirrel monkeys, black faced capuchin, spider monkeys, howler monkeys, they fight, and in some situations, this is fatal because they can kill each other. But in this case, the female, she attacks, but the guys, the males, they don't, they don't do nothing. It's something like that. And two things, one of these birds, the people in Puerto Aventura, they find it close to the main road. The, the guys, they call first the protection animal, Profepa, and then Profepa, they send to us the message. So we go into there to rescue this bird. When this bird come here, and that poor bird come with the two shoulders broken. The guys in this place, they decide to do in some uh, surgery, special surgery, and they uh, they are having a program after a couple months, releasing in the wildlife. But mm -hmm. the situation becomes complicated because uh, the birds is not like in the humans. In, in the humans, they, when your doctor told you, okay, you broke your legs, you have to stay at home three, four months. Mm -hmm. But the animals, they don't understand that, okay? Mm -hmm. So what happened, the, the bird hurts again, so the doctors, the specialists, the veterinarians, they decide to put something that is holding now the bones with some metal. So and now uh, it's uh, it's flying couple meters, but it's not for surviving in nature. Mm. So it's very difficult, like releasing in the wildlife. This is the, the situation, you know. Okay. So we have a Susie and Tuki Tuki. They they don't fly also like very far. They fly more or less.
used to be scared of them. They they attack. They they bite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, on the back they have something like little like little teeth uh, like this. So at the moment like they bite, they back like this. They do this. They try to pull. Oh. They scratch your skin. Uh, it hurts really bad. Uh -oh. I think these ones are worse than dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dogs are more friendly. <laughs>